my channel. Today is Wednesday, which means it's a Walt Disney Wednesday. Today we are making pop socket Mickey ear pop socket. Mickey ear donut pop sockets. Yeah, these are really cute and they're so fun to make. We're also gonna do a few different things to the pop sockets, but each one of those is its own video. So if you wanna know how to bling a pop socket or make a holographic sticker pop socket, today we're just focusing on the actual getting the ears on. You can do these with buttons, you can do them with lots of other things. Yes, I know I say buttons wrong, I'm working on it, I still don't really understand what I'm doing wrong. But everybody has to comment on it whenever I use the word. And it's kind of hard being a DIYer because we use buttons, buttons, button, but I don't know what I'm doing. I say buttons, buttons. Get over it. All right, let's get going. Let's make some Mickey ear pop sockets. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we are making these adorable Mickey pop sockets. I'm so excited. We have the blank sockets on shopinktotay.com and we're using these cute little donut uh, beads. They're not beads, I got them at Hobby Lobby, but they're just like little doodads. And we're gonna use the sockets that you can get on Shop Anti Tay, which are way cheaper than getting the expensive pop sockets. So what you wanna do is turn your socket upside down and open it completely, but just make sure that you're able to close it. We're gonna use E6000 and I have a whole video on safety with this glue and how to use it. So check that video out before you get to work on any projects with this glue. Um, cause it is very strong in strength and fumes. So just watch that before you start. So I'm also using a silicone mat. We have a really adorable one on shopantitay.com. I'm using one of my smaller ones today and I'm just gonna tack these on with some E6000. And E6000 takes about 24 hours to fully dry. So I'd suggest leaving these outside so that you don't breathe in the toxic fumes and then you get back to work on them once they are completely dry. And then once they are, we're just gonna make cute little bows. You could do these with ribbon. You can buy pre-made little bows at Hobby Lobby, whatever you want. And of course you don't have to add these if you don't want to, but I definitely wanted to cause why not? Bows are adorable. So this is actually one that I did with holographic printable sticker paper, which you guys can also get on shopantitay.com. But I have another video on how to do that as well. And that's it. 